welcome to my kitchen today i will be roasting a whole turkey um when you take it out of the package you want to make sure to take the neck out and the giblets or guts or whatever are usually in a bag in the back of the turkey uh, make sure to take those out and make sure your turkey is thawed usually they come frozen solid so you want to take it out at least three, four, maybe five days ahead, depending on how big your turkey is. This turkey is about 13 pounds. So I've washed it all out, take the neck, take the guts out. And I've made some stuffing and I'm just gonna put stuffing inside the cavity. Some people say you're not supposed to stuff your turkeys. Um, I've never had a problem with stuffing them, so I'm going to continue to stuff them. So just keep stuffing it in until you can't get any more in. Okay, once you have it all stuffed, some people like to put it up on a rack. Um, I like to cook it just in the bottom of a pan. I'm just going to brush it with butter. And then I'm going to just sprinkle it with some pepper. Just enough so that you can see it. And a little bit of salt. And a little bit of thyme. And that's it. I'm going to put it in a 325 degree oven. Um, the rule usually is 20 minutes per pound if it's stuffed. But I have a feeling it's not going to take four, four and a half hours. I'm guessing about three and a half hours. But it does have a popper. And it's supposed to pop up when it's done. I always still check the internal temperature to make sure that it's at least 165 degrees and I'm just gonna pour a little bit of water on the bottom just enough to coat the bottom and I'm gonna put it in the oven if I see that it's browning too fast I will cover it with a little bit of aluminum foil um, but I'll be back and show you what it looks like Okay, so it's been about three hours and 15 minutes and our popper is up and I checked the temperature and it's over 165. So I'm gonna take the popper out, push this aside. And I'm gonna attempt to take this turkey out. And that's all there is to it. Super easy to make. And don't forget to save your your juice from your turkey for gravy and also your carcass for turkey soup. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you give it a try. Please like, share, and subscribe. That would help me out a great deal. And I will see you on the next one.